Hi there, this is Tony from Pianotone.ca, and in this video, I'm going to go over another super cool product from Liquid Stands. If you follow my channel, you may have already seen my review on what I think is by far the best keyboard stand on the market, my two-tier stand from Liquid Stands. If you haven't seen that review, I will link to it in the description uh, below so you can check it out. I'll also include a link to a quick review I did on my favorite piano bench I've ever owned, which I'm sitting on right now, which is also made by Liquid Stands. So what's the cool new product that I'm uh, reviewing here? It's uh, Liquid Stands Studio Monitor Stands. So I do have to mention, I didn't pay for these stands. Uh, the good people at Liquid Stands uh, sent them to me to check out and do a review on. So thanks very much to Liquid Stands for doing that. Much appreciated. But I do promise I'm going to be giving you my honest opinion in this review. And that's actually going to be really easy to do because just like everything else I've tried from Liquid Stands so far, these things are nothing short of fantastic. So let's check it out. So when you order these, you actually get two of them. Uh, they currently sell on Amazon for about the 70 US dollar mark for the two pack. The uh, shelves themselves are 12 by 9, and uh, they actually have a really nice kind of a non-slip isolation pad built into the shelf, which is a really nice, uh, really nice feature. They uh, are meant to be clamped onto a desk or a table or like what I've done here onto a music stand, and uh, they adjust up and down. Nice feature here too, once I tighten this is because you might have something expensive, like a fancy speaker or something that could be a little heavy uh, sitting on these stands. Uh, there's a locking pin that you can insert like that. So if, uh, let's say you didn't tighten this uh, tight enough and then you put your heavy speaker on it and then it slid down, uh, this locking pin is gonna prevent it from sliding uh, any more than a couple of millimeters there. So it's a nice little extra safety feature they've got. Now the other thing, unlike most of the other clamp-on stands that are uh, out there on the market, the Liquid Stands one allows you to uh, put in a tilt of uh, 0 to 20 degrees, so you can angle, uh, angle your uh, stand a little bit towards you. That's actually what I've done uh, up there. Then I tighten that up. And you might be thinking, well, what's going to keep my, uh, my fancy gear from sliding off the stand if it's on an angle? Well, you actually get... Uh, lips that you can, uh, optional lips that you can attach to the stand. And the nice thing about these is they also have that isolation pad built in, so uh, that's not going to uh, scratch up your uh, gear by having it uh, hit a metal lip, so that's a nice little touch. And if you wanted to orient the stand that direction instead of that direction, they do also come with a uh, longer lip so that you can uh, set the lip up that way instead. So given that I've had nothing but great experiences with anything from Liquid Stands that I've uh, seen so far, I was expecting these to be high quality. But when I unpacked them, I was still really surprised and impressed at how high quality these are. They're heavy-duty stainless steel. Each one of these actually weighs 6.5 pounds, and each shelf can hold up to 65 pounds. The clamp has uh, some nice padding on it, uh, both on the uh, on the top there as well as on the like the little plunger thing, and it can uh, gr really tightly grip onto tables that are from half an inch to two inches thick. And the uh, each stand has an adjustable height range of nine and a half to thirteen and a half inches. There isn't really any significant assembly involved, uh, other than you can see on the bottom of the uh, of the shelf, there's these uh, pegs. So the only thing you have to do to attach the uh, shelf is just choose which uh, orientation you want and then just uh, secure it with a couple of wing nuts. So it just takes a couple of, couple of minutes and then uh, if you want to use one of the lips, same thing. Uh, choose which direction you want to put those on and then just attach those with some wing nuts. So not really any assembly involved at all. So what am I planning on using mine for? I've got a couple of things in mind actually. In the band I've been playing in, I'm playing a ton of Hammond organ, as well as a bunch of piano and electric piano. Since Hammond organ playing really does need a separate keyboard from your main piano, I've switched my uh, gear out to be a two and then possibly a three keyboard setup. My current two keyboard setup is a Studio Logic uh, Numa Compact 2X on the bottom for uh, piano, electric piano, and other sounds. And then uh, my new Hammond uh, M Solo organ is on the uh, upper tier. So when I play live, I now need to bring my uh, mixer so that I can mix the two keyboards together before sending uh, audio out to amplifiers, house PA system, that type of thing. So the way I have this configured right now is going to work beautifully for having my Yamaha uh, mixer close at hand while I'm playing. One of the cool things about the Liquid Stands keyboard stand is that the uh, second tier uh, has a cross brace that goes all the way along. 
So you can clamp things to it. So I, uh, sometimes I'll clamp a mic stand to that, like a boom arm, and that's what I've got the, uh, the speaker mount uh, clamped to right now. Now the three keyboard setup that I mentioned is still something that's up in the air a little bit, but I've only had this new uh, Hammond M solo for a short while yet, and I am still getting used to it. It does have the latest and greatest, and they are fantastic, Hammond uh, organ sounds, but it does only have 49 keys, and while the keys are okay for organ playing, they are synth action keys, uh, not proper semi-weighted organ waterfall keys. And that's why I've been working on a homemade uh, organ MIDI controller that does have proper uh, waterfall keys on it. So depending on how I find the action to be on the M solo and depending how my MIDI uh, uh, keyboard uh, experiment turns out, I might end up using the liquid stands, speaker stands, as a third tier on my uh, keyboard stand just to hold the uh, M solo while I trigger the M solo sounds from a, my homemade MIDI keyboard that would then sit on the second tier. And these uh, stands have actually turned out to be sturdy enough that I'd feel totally comfortable even actually playing my M solo on these if I needed to. So if I did that, I'd basically be creating a third tier by just having both of them up there like that and then having this little tiny keyboard on, uh, on those stands. So that's pretty much it for this review. I'm super impressed with these stands. They're really versatile. Um, I can highly recommend them for holding your speakers or any other gear like mixers or whatever. They're sturdy, heavy duty, and really well built. As I mentioned in the intro, I'll leave some links below to the other liquid stand uh, product reviews that I've done. And I'll also leave some links to check out current prices in your area on the products I've mentioned. And as usual, some links to online piano training that worked uh, for me and that I highly recommend. So thanks again for stopping by. Happy speakers shelf shopping and have an awesome day.